let's reach here 103g you do slash 103 capital g and then press enter then you're there let's start so please connect to the server or if you're using mac please uh, open a terminal and then if you type vim you can open your vim see the screen like this and once it's up please do colon and r space as you can see here colon r space and paste the address that i just pasted into the teams i'm gonna do colon r and then paste colon r and paste then it's gonna load the text file from the website and then it's gonna paste them into here if you can't get this work just type any random text so we can do things together so we started by highlighting no more arrows jkhl so please try using that and some numbers in front of them we did double g to go up to the top capital g to go to the end and dollar sign to go to the end of the character in the line and carrot sign to go to the first character of the line let's do 200 capital g capital g will take you to line 200 for example when you are in line like this and you want to move into first dash you can do f dash and it's going to take you to the first character that you see from your cursor and on the way back if you want to go back to t you can do capital f and t capital f and t will take you to the first t that you see from the cursor to the previous line and we can use w to move a mo move motion b to move a backward okay that's what we done yet last time and then uh we uh did double z to set wherever line that i am to the center of the screen which is quite useful okay and we did double d to delete the whole line and u to revert back u and we did double d and then if you press dot it's going to repeat what you have just done with vim so if you just press dot it's going to repeat what you've done okay and we could select characters by pressing v and going into visual mode when you press v it's going to say visual and you can move around like this and then you copy them by y and you could paste them with p you could paste again using p you could repeat them by dot you could paste them 100 times by 100 p okay you can revert them by u and we could select columns by rather than just v control v control v then it shows you visual block let's come down 10 lines down and then you could delete them by x so you deleted a single line from 10 lines in the beginning okay i'm gonna reset all the changes that i've done in the text and i'm gonna go to the top of the line by gg so let's do this together if you have opened the same document on your screen i'm gonna give you 10 seconds so i'm gonna start from line one here and i want to reach the capital u that you see on line 11 capital u that you see in line 11 where there's a word utc i want you to reach there using the least number of keystrokes have a go i'll do 11j so you go to the same line because it's capital u i'm just guessing there's not many capital u's in the same line so i'll probably do f u which takes me here because this u is closer than this one from my previous position i'm gonna do repeat okay so from this u let's get to this small s in the subject in the seven lines above there's a subject kevin cho and i want to reach s in the subject from the u how should i do that i'll do probably seven up and then since i'm here i'll probably use s again because i'm quite used to searching using f or capital f i'll do capital f s then i'm here let's reach capital e in the free software home in five lines below here capital e in the free software underscore home from s in the subject let's get there how do you get there i'll do full j and then capital f e okay let's learn new thing today there are many times when you want to load the text from the output of a command that you type in the shell for example you type ls 
in a shell and all the list of files and directories in a, in a directory you, you just want to copy them into a text file sometimes that you want to do that and there is a way to do that within the vim so here i'm um, inside vim what you do is colon and then exclamation mark and then a less this would call ls command inside vim let's do this colon exclamation mark ls if you do this it's going to show you what you have in the current directory where you ran vim let's run this again colon exclamation mark and ls maybe you can do home directory temp linux tutorial something like this then it's going to return what i have in this structure okay now i want to take a step further i want to read the output of the command into the text file that i opened what i do is colon read and then again exclamation mark ls return see it just loaded up the output of the ls into the script that i was editing so say you edit a script like this and you want it to use name of files that you saved somewhere. Then you can do colon R and probably uh, temp Linux and then vim note. So you just want to load what is there into the code. Do this. Oops. With exclamation mark and ls. Then it's going to load the files into them. We just loaded a output of a command. We can also load content of a text file. If you do R and uh, if you know any text file that you have then give the location uh, i'm gonna call them vim note this command will load the content of this md file into here let me revert all the changes all right so now let's do search function let's search kevin here what you do is slash when you type slash you will see slash at the bottom of your screen and then you can just type what you want to search i'm going to search kevin and then i'm going to press return then it's highlighting all the kevin in the document and i can go back and forth by n or capital n representing next n takes you to the next word and capital n takes you to the previous word okay n takes you next capital n takes you to the previous all right and when you're done searching, you don't want them to highlight Kevin forever. So what you do is colon NOH. So no highlights. Colon NOH. No highlights. Okay. So this is giving me another option to move around. For example, say we move the UTC. So rather than going 5J and then capital F, capital U, I can now search them. I'm going to do slash UTC, slash UTC, and then I'm going to press enter. I'm here. I'm here okay let me try this again uh i want to get to this number 819 so rather than going 13j and then moving around i want to just search them slash 819 um since there's a two eight one nines it took me here but by pressing n i can reach where i wanted to reach let's reach here 103g you do slash 103 capital g and then press enter then you're there rather than moving around with j and k you can sometimes use slash functions but notice that slash function is searching onward you can also search backwards by question mark so i'm here i want to reach linux so i want to do question mark and then linux and then enter i'm here okay so now we can move faster all right that's search function and to remove the highlights you do colon and then NOH, no highlight. Remove all the highlights for me. All right. So I know some of you started listening to the sessions from when we started on the Linux. And one of the things that we did in Linux was SED, the set function, replacing a specific word into something else. We have set function inside Vim, so we can replace a word into something else. Say I have a Kevin Cho here. Let's come down to line, uh, three lines down to be in the same line as where the Kevin Cho word is. And I'm gonna press colon, and then I'm gonna replace, I'm, I'm gonna substitute Kevin underscore Cho into aha underscore ho ho. I'm gonna press enter. So the first Kevin Cho that we saw in the line has just substituted into haha underscore ho. I'm gonna run that again like this. Then I expect this second Kevin Cho to be replaced, okay? But notice that it's only replacing one 
word. So if there's a more than one word on the line, it only replaces the first one. So let me revert back by pressing WU. And then this time, I want to change all the occurrences in the same line. Then what I do is just include G at the end. So colon, S, Kevin Cho, and then slash, and whatever you want to change into, and then slash G. Then it's going to change everything on the line. See? There's uh, two haha ha ho -hos. All right, then next up. There are other Kevin shows in the script. I want to change all of the occurrences in across all the lines. What I do is I just include percentage sign in front of S and then do the same. Kevin underscore Cho slash aha underscore ho. And then make sure that you include G to make it change not only the first occurrence of the word, but every word across the line. All right, so there should be no Kevin shows. We can check by slash Kevin underscore Cho. Pressing enter, there's no Kevin Cho. Okay, all right, I think we can wrap up there for the vent. So I can't highlight more. All, all of these commands, these JK are the most important one. So please, please use J and K rather than your arrows and you will be faster. You'll be faster and I'll be a lot happier to see you move in them.